Thank you then, Paul. We can probably hear in, in the background uh, Hurricane Katia or the remnants of it. Uh, on Saturday, it was Newport County who were blown away here. Well, yeah, uh, lads did really well, like I say. Um, just been, you know, sitting back, being anal analytical after the game on Saturday. Uh, you know, thinking about the lads, the lads worked extremely hard and, and, you know, actually watching the game. Um, you know, on Sunday, uh, I never realised, you know, how strong we looked, but... Uh, yeah, like I say, say I, I know Victor Meldrew again, but it's, it's just one game and uh, and we, we move on to Barrow on Saturday. It'll be interesting because you've been doing all the work and it's been quiet and nobody's had the focus on Mansfield. That performance in front of the TV cameras means people will start noticing Mansfield now. Will that change your approach or the way things do things happen here? No, no. Um, like I said, I, I said in, with, with the press on, on Saturday that I, I can't control expectation. I can't control what, what people's thoughts are about us. Um, you know, we will do nothing different to what to what we've been doing. Um, you know, if anything else, the, the lads will work even harder. Uh, you know, they've really got the bit between the teeth at the minute, and uh, you know, they're, they're really playing with a smile on the face. You said you wanted the right attitude. I think you got that, didn't you? They they, they forgot about the cameras and they just got on with their business. They did. They, they, you know, they're they're a great bunch. You know, uh, and, and you know, we're all going through through a, a steep learning curve at the minute in, in terms of finding out how be, about each other. Um, you know, potential wise, you know, th this team's got a lot of potential, you know, and what I'm trying to do is, is just is just keep them grounded and keep them working hard. Um, it's like say, you know, I've, I've gone through it time and time again, you, you never win anything at this stage of the season, but potential there with it. And you probably felt the time was right as well when you saw the, the results coming in, and you saw that Wrexham and Gateshead had lost, Kidderminster had drawn, it was a great, a great chance, wasn't it, to, to gain some ground? Yeah, that's, that's what we're looking to do. Um, you know, like I've, I've said before, it's, it's going to be a really tough league. I think people are going to be taking points off each other throughout the season. Um, you know, and I use the word consistency again. You know, if, if we if we can be consistent um, and, and follow on what we've been doing of late, um, you know, we might be around that little pack. You know, come Christmas time, and uh, and then who knows from there on. Did you come out of the game unscathed? Uh, yes, we did. Uh, you got you got a few knocks uh, as, as you always do. You know, a few few little sort, of, but really they, they, they were insignificant. And uh, you know, I, I think the lads now at the minute, I think they were one or two of them. Even if they did get in, injured, they'd, they'd probably uh, wouldn't tell Jason um, because they don't want to lose a place at the minute. Um, I, I just think the, the whole the whole place. Uh, looks as though it's buzzing at the minute, um, but we don't want to get carried away with it. We've got some of the fringe players at the moment tripping <laughs> the first team players up, hoping that they get a little knock so they can actually get in there, because at this moment in time, I think the subs and those that are out of the 16, they're thinking, crikey, we're not going to be able to get in at the moment. Well, I, I, I've just, you know, the, the lads that uh, are out the side, I think have shown a terrific attitude uh, and their mentality has been, been excellent. You know, it's, it's not going to be the eleven. That, that wins things. It, it's always a squad, and I think the the lads that aren't in there at the minute uh, have been unlucky for one reason or another. You know, if you look at people like Paul Bolan, hasn't hasn't started a game for us yet. You know, Paul Riley's took a bit of a knock. He's out. John Thompson uh, was out, and, and now Lee Stevenson. You know, with a bit of a bang. Then you bring into in, into that group Reese Day that hasn't kicked a ball yet. Um, you know, we we need these kind of people fit and chomping at the bit to, to try and get in the side because I think they're going to be worth the weight in gold throughout the season. How are we looking with the injuries at the moment? Is it looking good? Well, Lee Stevenson's, um, even though he's got a, an airline fracture, should only be about another ten days from, from now. Um, John Thompson, uh, you know, we've got to we've got to wrap him up in cotton wool a little bit at the minute. Um, you know, more more so, you know, not just because of the you know the physical injuries, but a little bit with the psychological impact um, so so we've got to be careful uh, Paul uh, Martin Riley should be um, should be due back full training this week and in contention for Saturday um, that, that, that's roughly it to be fair Reese Day should if I you know we should be having a behind closed doors game midweek um, should have a run out in that so they're coming back slowly um, which will which will aid you know what, what, what we want to achieve this season because like I say that the first 11 at some point the first 11 we're going to suffer injuries, suspensions, loss of form uh, and you know we need good players but good players with the you know, the right mindset to come into the side. On to Ben Futcher now, it's a question that we ask you every week. What's the situation with, with Ben? Are we close to tying a deal up for him? Well, well you know I've spoke to Bury, everything's been sort of agreed. Uh, Richie's, um, Richie's agreed for the lad to come, the lad's really keen on coming 
Um, really, I just need to to work everything with uh, you know with the chairman, and um, hopefully, you know, we can we can tie Ben down to a longer term loan. Um, he's been immense for us, um, not just on the pitch, to be fair, but in the dressing room as well. Um, you know, the man's a winner. Um, you know, that's what we, what kind of players we want at this football club. You feel that there's no going to be no problems when you do speak to the chairman that you you are going to get the money out of him because he was here on Saturday and he must have been very impressed with what he saw. Yeah, he's you know the, the chairman doesn't get carried away, um, which which I can yeah, I can fully understand. You know, we're only sort of eight games in. Um, and the chairman understands that, that Ben's a good player, you know. But like I say, we, we've got a wage structure to 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 deal with. Well, I have, um, and uh, we, we've got to make sure that he comes within that uh, within them sort of boundaries. And Matt Green as well continues to be a, a phenomenal player as well. Is that something that you're hoping to tie up as well? Are you, are you trying to move that forward? Well, we want to keep you know Matt at the club. Uh, it's as simple as that. Now you know there's a long time he's he's, he's loan runs out uh, at Christmas time. Um, I think Matt's loving it here. Um, you know, I speak to him, I spoke to him once or twice, and he, you know, he he really enjoys it here. You can just tell with his football, anyway. You know, with the football's body language when he plays out there. You just look at the team ethics, the team spirit. You know, when we score goals, and I think he's enjoying his football. You know, um, you know, I believe in in that Matt Green's going to score goals for his club. And I think Matt believes that. You know, we we want somebody. You know, those kind of players. Uh, you need at a football club if. Um, if you to get success this season, so uh, I'd like to keep him, you know. But uh, like I say, there's, 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 this minute he's an Oxford United player. Um, we have to understand that, and uh, I think there's a long way between now and Christmas time. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd love him to stay at the club. Uh, someone who's probably been unfortunate, Nick Wood. What's the situation with him now? Well, Nick, uh, I've got to speak to the chairman today, uh, just regarding Nick. Um, Hopefully, you know, we might be able to get something done with, with Nick. Um, but once again, uh, as, as in the Ben Futcher situation, it's about pounds and pence and, and about him coming within a, a wage bracket. Uh, bracket. Um, so, yeah, yeah I, I need to speak to the chairman regarding that, um, see where we are in terms of the finances and to see what we do with him. Um, the thing with Nick is is that now we've got Martin Riley coming back, we've got Reece Day coming back. Um, you know, I'd like to keep Ben Futcher uh, as well as... You know, I'm hoping that John Thompson might be back in, in sort of light training probably within the week or so. So uh, that means we're going to have a lot of centre-halves at the club. So, uh, you know, we, we've got to listen to what uh, what Nick's got to say because um, Nick, Nick's got to understand as well. He, Nick wants to play football. So uh, I'll sit down with the chairman, sit down with the lad and then uh, hopefully we'll come to a you know, decision that will suit both parties. Tom Naylor last week at Derby, this week at Fulham. It must be an exciting time for him, especially I think he's got a reserve game tonight, isn't it? Manchester United or something, I've heard. Yeah, Manchester United. I mean, uh, I was joking the other day that he's probably taking his autograph book with him You know, when he plays today. Um, you know, I think he'll be more concentrating on getting people's autographs than, than playing. But no, seriously, I, you know, I, I really do hope the lad performs well tonight. Not like I say, not because um, for any other reason that he's a great lad, fantastic attitude, um, and and I, I personally want to see people like that pro progressing football, you know. But like I said, it's he's a Manchester Town player uh, until somebody steps in and uh, comes comes up with with anything that we anywhere near that we feel he's worth, then. Um, I'm happy to keep him at the club, you know. But like I say, on, on a personal point, knowing the lad personally, um, you just want he's a gorgeous lad, he really is a nice lad and um you want him to progress and you want you want to see players like him him playing at the highest level. But like I say, it's uh it's, it's all in his locker now. He, he's got to go up there and show what he can do. I suppose you can take from your personal experiences, tell him to, to enjoy it. I mean, with you with Notts County and all that sort of thing, you, you you remember what it was like when you were young and, and you got your first opportunities. Yeah, you, I think he, what he's got to forget about is who he's playing against. You know what it's all about. That it's a trial game. I think he, I think with, with Tom, he's just got to go in there and, and enjoy it and, and 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 just do the best he can. You know, if he comes up short. Uh, it won't be the end of the world for him because I, I feel at some point he, he's, he's a football league player and I think he'll go into the football league. Um, you know, and some of these these trial matches are are sometimes a game of chance. Sometimes you don't do well uh, in the right game and, and and you miss your opportunity. But I say I think at some stage Tom, I, I'll be, I'm. 100% certain that uh, Tom will go in the football league at some point. I thought you were going to say bet your house then and mortgage on it. <laughs> Good job I'm renting. <laughs> uh, finally, what about the fans? What an atmosphere at Phil Mill. I, I was talking to, to John Lomas prior and we were saying there's not been an atmosphere here for about five or six years like that. That was something on Saturday, wasn't it? It was excellent, yeah. You know, And that's why you know I went away on Saturday and sort of went home to, 
to our lass and you know she called me Victor Meldrew you know for me sort of post match comments I, I don't I don't want to take um, the shine off anything I, I you know I've said before the I love the sports enjoying it uh, it means that we're we're doing something on the pitch that they that they like uh, I don't want to I don't want to let the uh, I don't want to let the the players um, stop enjoying it because this is what we're all in it for to win football matches. Um, you know, my, my goal at, at the minute is, is to try and get this club out of this league or, or, or to get them into the playoffs and, you know, to make it successful. So I have to keep a, uh, a steady hand on everything. Um, but no, I mean, I, I would, I, you know, uh, when, when I come away from the game and, and, and you sit and, and sort of reassess everything, the noise that was coming from the stadium on, on, on Saturday was, was immense. And uh, just, just once again, you know, when I asked them pre-season if they could help us out, they're playing a massive part, you know, in, in our results this this season, um, home and away, and that's um, I, I do actually believe that our supporters will have a massive part to play in in how successful we are this season, because like I say, we've got quite a few young players, um, a few players that have, have, have just stepped up to a level, and I think that these supporters, um, well, I, I know they've, they've made. The, the lads I brought in feel at home, um, but they they can they can dictate um, confidence. I think, uh, and, and what they've been doing is is been absolutely immense for the boys. You know, the, and the, and the lads have really uh, really put in a shift when 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 they've heard the you know the, the vocal support they've got. Finally, for this week then, in preparation for Barrows, you mentioned the, the game as well. There's the close behind closed doors game you, you're planning. Uh, the youth side also start their league campaign this week, so it's a it's another busy week in the life of Mansfield Town, isn't it? Yeah, it's exciting. You know, I mean, the, the, the youth team start their, their league. You know, they're they're flying. Uh, some good players. Uh, you know, massive part of this football club. Uh, well, I, I want them to be a massive part of this football club. Um, you know, like I say, you know, we, we want to build it in the Barrow, um, and we want to um, we want to approach it in, with, with the right mindset again. You know, if we, if we do that, um, you know, we, we've got a good chance of giving an, anybody in this league a, a good football match. Um, like I say it's when uh, it's when we don't that the wheels will fall off, and um, you know that, that's when like I say it gets a little bit ugly. So uh, if the lad if the lads are you know acute. They'll keep working hard. Um, they'll keep working hard in the training sessions, and um, you know, if I'm totally honest, you know, I think the mentality in the dressing room is excellent at the minute, and I can't see us getting too big for our boots, in, in, you know, in any way. Twice this season they've beaten the leaders. Um, you spent all week keeping the lads' feet on the ground for the Newport game. It's going to be another case of doing the same, isn't it? Because it's not a particularly pleasant place to go. Well, I mean, you don't have to look at their results. You know, uh, I think they put four past Fleetwood, didn't they? Um, they put three past Wrexham. Uh, anybody that, that I think would dare to go there and, and, and so much as underestimate them uh, does so at their peril. Um, you know, the two boys up there that, that are running them have done a magnificent job. And, uh, you know, we, we have got to be probably even more prepared for Saturday. Um, you know that we've probably ever been, you know, because it's going to be a totally different concept to, to the way games we played in, different kind of environment, um, and, you know, and, and I think the team with a different mindset to what we've come up against, you know, it's it's going to it's going to be a hell of a battle, you know. But our lads, you know, I, I just think at the minute that they they really have got the bit between the teeth, you know, and I, I think they'll they'll look at this as a challenge and not something that we can go up there and just stroll around and pose, you know, because I think anybody that goes up the barrow and stroll around. And tries to pose, um, will come away with nothing. Um, so, but I say that these lads are. I think the mindset's getting stronger and stronger every week. And as long as we keep, uh, you know, we, we keep on that path, we, we'll, we'll be okay. You know, no one can. We can't guarantee we're going to win every game. But e even the games we do lose and we do draw, I want us to come out of it. Um, and I want the lads to to come out of it with, with some credit because of the way they've gone about it.